clock is ticking. Experts believe that Earth's climate is rapidly changing. They also maintain that this poses a significant threat to life on this planet. The question is, can we sustain our present lifestyle? Temperature uh, increased, I think it is one of the factors which is going to increase. Whatever I think uh, we do, it will continue to increase. Secondly, the pattern of uh, uh, precipitation is uh, going to be uh, quite changed. The government had declared 2009 as the National Year of Environment. Yet, environmentalists believe it did not address some pressing issues. However, officials maintain that they had their own limitations. This has happened uh, in some ways and it has not happened in some ways. And in the terms of the finances which were required to, to take forward all this uh, uh, policy, haven't uh, come in as much as uh, they were supposed to. Besides a rapid increase in industry and vehicles, the absence of an efficient mass transit system in the country's major urban centers has become a contributing factor in fossil fuel utilization. There's a huge gap in terms of uh, lack of mass transit in, in our major cities. So everybody is dependent upon an individual you know, transport, and that has created great uh, problems, both in terms of flow of traffic as well as uh, the, the, the carbon emissions. Meanwhile, climatologists have claimed that glaciers are rapidly melting in the Himalayan region. Many people say this will have a direct bearing on the energy sector of Pakistan. Energy sector is also going to face problems because, uh, because of uh, heat, because of more temperatures, there will be more demand for uh, energy. On the other hand, the production of energy will suffer because the water uh, in rivers uh, is going to be reduced because of uh, melting of glaciers and all this. Experts maintain that there was an increase in natural forest cover in 2009. So far as tree cover is concerned at national level, we have already uh, take, uh, succeeded in bringing it up from 4.9 to 5.1 percent. But, the, but the, under the Millennium Development Goal, the government of Pakistan is committed to enhance tree cover by 1 percent from 5 to 6 percent by the year 2015. Government officials say they want to create great awareness among the people regarding the facts of climate change. But they also maintain that they cannot do it single-handedly. Schools have to take more and more part in this. It has to happen at the parents' level, the media, the mosques, and the government, and all of us is together as one society have to, have to realize that um, there is a serious issue of environment which relates to civic sense, disciplining our lives. The recent climate change conference in Copenhagen failed to generate the desired results. The developed world is the one who is responsible. They have a historic responsibility for having created these carbon emissions and brought them to this level where today the whole world is pitched with this issue. After the failure at Copenhagen, the world is looking forward to the next round of talks in Mexico. Experts say that Pakistan must participate in the forthcoming conference with greater preparation. But this can only happen if the government takes more interest in the issue and try to adopt more eco-friendly policies. Climate change is reality. It's time to act now. Tomorrow will be too late. Save the nature and nature will save our future generations. Faisal Raza Khan, Don News, Islamabad.